The last of properties we'll be talking about is the power rule. And what the power rule basically says if you're taking the log base b of m to the p power, anytime you're taking uh, the log of something that has an exponent, you can take that exponent and rewrite it as a coefficient of your logarithm. So again, you'll start to see the connection of how we use the uh, exponents and logarithms. They're very, very closely related. So kind of keep that in mind. Again, this is the same type property. Uh, it'll go both ways when we're talking about expanding and condensing logarithms. That if you have log base b of m to the p power, you can write it as p log base b of m. Or if you have p log base b of m, you can condense that by rewriting the coefficient as an exponent. So we'll see if we can't look at a couple examples. The first one is the log base 5 of 7 to the 4th power. So since we uh, have a nice little exponent on what we're taking the log of, we can rewrite that as a coefficient. If we could simplify this, we would. But unfortunately, that's not a rational number, so we're just going to leave it. And the next one, again, a habit you need to get into is because we're dealing with logarithms and they're so closely related to exponential functions, is that anytime you have a radical, you rewrite it as a rational exponent. So we'd rather deal with exponents than we would radicals. So the square root of x is really x to the one-half power. And then we can just take that and rewrite it. Again, we can't simplify this logarithm. If it were natural log of e, then we would simplify it and say it's 1 but natural log of x we can't do anything with. Now we're just using the product rule in the last example, so all we're going to do is we're going to take our exponent and rewrite it as a coefficient. So we have 5 log of 4x. Now when we get into condensing, what we'll have to do is we'll have to break this up into two logarithms, but yeah, we're not there yet, so that's it.